Hello everyone, my name is Masha Nuts and today I want to teach you how to make this absolutely gorgeous friendship bracelet. This bracelet is definitely one of my new favorites. I absolutely love it. And the best part is that it's only two repeating rows. You heard me right, there's two repeating rows, making it super simple to make. If you are a complete beginner and you've never made bracelets before, I don't recommend you start with this. While this bracelet is really easy, I recommend you try a couple of bracelets before just to get the hang of it. I have a video called The Beginner's Guide to Friendship Bracelets, which will walk you through everything you need to know as a beginner and will tell you where to start. And I recommend starting with a classic chevron bracelet for which I have a tutorial which will be linked in the card and in the description. But once you've made a bracelet or two, this bracelet is definitely within your reach. And if you're looking for even more ways to learn, my book, The Beginner's Guide to Friendship Bracelets, might just be for you. The book is finally out worldwide and is available for purchase anywhere you typically buy books. Or you can buy directly from my publisher, and that way you can also get the physical book and the ebook as a bundle. I'll leave the link to that in the description. The book is a collection of photo tutorials specifically for beginners, and it'll take you all the way from the very basics to some more advanced stuff. And if you do get it, thank you. And I really hope you enjoy it. But all that being said, let's get into the tutorial. So for this bracelet, you can actually use as many or as little colors as you want. Of course, the more colors that you use, the more of a gradient it will be. And also the more colors that you use, the thicker and the bigger the bracelet will be and the longer it will take you to finish. So there's a balance there that you want to find. I'm going to be using 12 colors because that's what's being used in the pattern and it will just be easier to understand for everyone. And this is what my gradient will look like. So as I said, we've got 12 colors and for each of these colors, you need one string per color. All of my strings are going to be about one meter in length. All right, so this bracelet follows the shape of a candy stripe. And because of that, I'm not gonna be making a loop. In fact, I'm gonna be making a half triangle end because they work really well with bracelets in the shape of a candy stripe. So I have a full tutorial on triangle ends, which will be linked in the card and in the description that you can watch separately. But I'm also gonna go ahead and explain here. Really, all you need to know is the string order, which I'm definitely going to explain, but I'm also gonna show you a few bits and pieces just because I want more people to try triangle ends and half triangle ends. And I want you to realize that they're really not that difficult. They're really, really easy to make when you know the string order. So this string order for this bracelet is actually a little bit tricky. The first six strings are going to be in the exact order of the gradient in the way that you want it to appear in the pattern. Then the seventh string is going to be the one that should appear before the first string that you bring out. So if I'm gonna be bringing out the red first, which I am, it'll go red, orange, slightly lighter orange, yellow, then green, then teal, making that six. And then I'm gonna go into the shade of pink that would have been before the red. So again, the first six strings are in the exact order you want them to appear in the gradient. The seventh string, is going to be the string before the first one. And then you continue in the strings of the gradient. So I stopped at teal, the next one would have been the light blue for me, then the dark blue, purple, and whatever other shades of pink I have. Hopefully that makes sense, right? So the first six strings in order, then the string that appears before the first one, and then the rest of the strings continuing in that order. There we go. So I'm gonna show it again here as we start bringing these strings out. Hopefully I don't make any mistakes, which I tend to do when I bring out gradients. All right, so when I say bring out a string, in a half triangle end, we're gonna take the first string we wanna bring out, which is the red for me, and we're gonna do literally just a backward knot with this string onto the entire bundle at the same time, like so. Then after that red, we've got the orange, which is going to do the same thing. That's a backward knot on the entire bundle at the same time, but this time we're excluding the string that we've already brought out, which is the red string. Next string is the yellow for me. Backward knot on the entire bundle except the strings that we've already brought out. And then the lighter shade of yellow. Then goes my shade of green. And the next is the light blue for me. And that's it, we're gonna stop here because that's six strings. So one, two, three, four, five, six, we've brought out six strings in the order of the gradient. Next, we're gonna bring out the string that should appear before the red. So for me, that's a lighter shade of pink. And then we continue bringing the strings out in the order of the gradient. And there we go, at the end there, we just did a normal backward knot because we only had two strings left and the last string won't be making a knot because there's nothing to make a knot onto. And that's literally it. Like making a half triangle end is just backward knots. 
or just forward knots if you're going to be doing the half triangle end in the opposite direction, but for this bracelet it's just backward knots. It's really easy, which is why I wanted to show you, because I want to encourage you to try it if you've never done it before. Alright, let's get into the tutorial, since all of our strings are now in the correct order. This bracelet literally only has two rows. It's very simple. Let's get to it. So remember how we talked in the beginning that we bring out the strings in order of the gradient for the first six strings, and then we have a string that's kind of different, that should go before the red string here. So ignore all the other strings for now, just grab the six strings and that pink string or whatever other color you have, so the first seven strings technically, and we're just going to do a row of forward knots with the outermost string along each of these strings individually until that string of the different color. So for me that's going to be five forward knots on each of these strings individually, and then once we reach that string that is a different color from the gradient, we're going to do a forward backward knot onto that, reversing the red string. So in the order of the gradient, the outermost string does five forward knots. And then once it reaches that string that was different from the gradient, it's going to do a forward backward knot, which once again is just one half of a forward knot and one half of a backward knot. All right, so now that red string went all the way to the right and then kind of got reversed back out to the left. So we're gonna ignore the red string for now. We're gonna switch now to that string that was the different gradient, the one that we just did that forward backward knot on. For me, it's a kind of pink shade. That's the one that would have come before the red. We're switching to that one. And this string is just going to do forward knots along the rest of the strings here in the order of the gradient, one by one. So just five forward knots. And there we go, the first row is complete. That's literally half of the repeating pattern. Let's continue. So we have to make sure that we are focused on that string that's in the middle. Before it was this pink string, right? The one that kind of was different from the gradient. Now it's the red string. It should be quite easy for you to keep track of which string it is because that would be the last string that you were working with, with the previous row. And also it's different from the gradient, like it stands out. It's bright red, right, in the center. So for each of these strings, we're gonna put these off to the side for now because they're irrelevant for now. For each of these, strings we're going to do backward forward knots so grabbing these first two the second one is going to do a backward forward knot on the first one then the next one is going to do a backward forward knot on that then the next one a backward forward knot on that and so on until we reach the red string that was the one from the previous row let's start these two strings we start off with a backward forward knot then we grab the next one and now this one does a backward forward knot on the other string, the one that we just did a backward forward knot with. Now these two go off to the side, grabbing the next one. Gonna do another backward forward knot onto this string, the one we just did a backward forward knot with. And now that one gets put off to the side, and then we grab the next one, which is the blue, and that does the backward forward knot on the green, which we just did a backward forward knot with. And then finally we get to the red string, which is again going to do a backward forward knot onto the blue, which we just did the backward forward knot with previously. So there we go, the first half of this row is done. Let's grab all the rest of the strings. One slight difference here, that red string is going to do a forward knot afterwards. So this one just did a backward forward knot, the red string, now it's doing a forward knot on the next string. So there's going to be two red knots here. And then the rest of them repeat in the same pattern, grabbing the next string, which is a blue. This one does a backward forward knot on the red. Now the next string, which is a purple, does a backward forward knot on the blue, which we just did a backward forward knot with. And so on, grabbing the next string, it does another backward forward knot. And two more backward forward knots until we reach the end. And there we go, that is literally it. There are two repeating rows to this pattern. The colors have now all changed, but the steps would be the exact same way. So you can rewind to the beginning of this tutorial. There's timestamps in the description to help you do that. And you can start again. This time we're gonna be with the orange and the string that's gonna be different would be the red again. It's in the center here. You can see that it's different because it stands out from the gradient. So again, rewind to the beginning, do that first row again, then do that second row again. Then the strings would have changed again, the colors. Then again, first row, second row. Literally just two rows. Repeat them over and over again until the bracelet reaches the length that you want. I'm gonna go finish this bracelet off camera and I'll show you once I'm done.
All right, I've finished making the bracer and now I'm ready to do the half triangle end for the bottom. Again, this is explained in great detail in the triangle ends tutorial, which is gonna be linked in the description, but I thought I'd show you here as well. The principle for the end is the same as the principle for the start, except in reverse. Take the two strings on the edge and do a backward knot between them. Now grab the next string and do a backward knot onto both of those strings at the same time. Grab the next string and do a backward knot on all three of the strings at the same time. Then grab the next string and do a knot on the entire bundle and so on. You're going to grab each string and do a backward knot on the bundle until you run out of strings. And there you go, now you're ready to make ties. I'm going to be making the twisted ties, for which I also have a separate tutorial, which will be linked in the card and in the description. And there we go, this is what the bracelet ended up looking like. As I said, this is definitely a new favorite of mine. I absolutely love this bracelet. And I had so much fun making it. This bracelet was made as part of my 24 hour bracelet challenge, during which I made bracelets for 24 hours. If you wanna watch that video, and it was really fun, and the challenge went really well, I'll leave that video linked in the card and in the description. Before I go, I also want to give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters. Thank you so much for your support of my videos. I truly appreciate it. And if you also want to become a patron and support the work that I do on this channel, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. But in any case, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you end up making this bracelet, definitely tag me on Instagram because I'd love to see it. And if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.